A question I often hear from parents of students I teach is, can dyslexia be fixed or cured? And the short answer is no. Hi, it's Dr. M, founder of Liberated Literacy. So yeah, there's no cure for dyslexia. There's no seven week course, there's no summer boot camp, no three year program, special school, pill, diet plan, whatever, that will cure your child of dyslexia. But there is specialized instruction with proven effectiveness in helping children learn to read fluently and therefore experience success in academics. This type of instruction helps dyslexic people develop the ability to match symbols with their corresponding sounds, to rapidly recognize that S says S, for example, and N says N, to be able to blend it together quickly, and to know different syllable types, like A-K-E says ache and not ack. It helps them break words into their appropriate parts, blend sounds together, and become a fluent reader who eventually comprehends what they are reading. And this is the key to being able to read to learn. The OG of this type of reading instruction is Orton Gillingham. Orton Gillingham is a pedagogical approach that enables teachers to diagnose the specific problems students are having with specific sounds and symbols, prescribe multisensory activities that help students master these sound and symbol correspondences, and ultimately become fluent readers. I myself am an Orton Gillingham trained tutor, so I'm a huge proponent for this approach. And as my OG supervisor would always say when I was in training, Orton Gillingham is an approach, not a program. But there are programs based on the Orton Gillingham approach, such as the Wilson system, including Foundations and Barton and others. They use multi-sensory approaches to developing essential language skills. They provide structured literacy instruction based on research that has proven that all students benefit from this approach to being able to learn to read. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. All students benefit from this approach to being taught how to learn to read, but dyslexic students need it to survive. The Orton-Gillingham approach and structured literacy is often referred to as teaching methodologies based on the science of reading. Please remember that dyslexia is not an impairment in intellectual ability. For legal purposes, so that students who are diagnosed with dyslexia get the instructional intervention they need, it is called a disability, but is not an impairment in intellectual ability. Dyslexic people can be, have been, are some of the most brilliant people in the world. No matter how severe the dyslexia may be, a person with dyslexia can overcome their struggles with reading with the right instruction. So what is so different about a dyslexic person's brain and the average person's brain. What makes structured literacy so crucial to the ability to learn to read for a dyslexic person, whereas the average person will benefit from this instruction but not need it to survive? I'll post a video next week that tackles this question, so stay tuned. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Share this video with someone you think it might help. And remember, October is Dyslexia and ADHD Awareness Month. I'll see you next week. Bye.